now we have seen the variables uh, data variables like the data types like number string boolean undefined these are all the things different types we i have shown you now let's move on to the another thing another another variables so another data which we can store it those are very important in javascript that is nothing but arrays and objects so we will have, we will cover more about this arrays and objects afterwards but we will have a normal introdu introduction about this arrays and objects before going the different ways of data how the javascript stores <clears throat> in objects is a vast concept in the javascript then everything deals with an object only but in a different way other than the programming language so which you will be having which you will be knowing about in the c java object oriented way so in javascript the objects will be dealt in with a different way so that is a different concept prototype based object oriented that one all we'll try to see those all things going on first we'll have an introduction of this arrays and objects so do anybody have a, a knowledge on this array so i think i hope that everybody has a knowledge on this array right yes so all of them know so no uh, who doesn't know about the concept of arrays any programming language so they will be having introduction uh, having right if they don't have any knowledge about this array so they haven't ever heard about this array concept means can anybody is there is there anybody no right everybody knows about this arrays yes sir, yes, sir. okay uh, just i want to know so how much so do i need to tell do I need to tell overview of this one or I need to tell each and a briefly I need to tell something like that I want to know that is the reason if everybody has the knowledge on this one means so I can cover little bit of fast about this array without having the introduction why we use this arrays and why we are using this arrays these are all type of things I will not tell okay fine if anybody have a doubt please just tell me so that I will explain you the arrays concept and all those things or otherwise we will uh, go something like how the javascript arrays we will be declaring and all those things we will discuss so fine so you know what is an array and what type of data the arrays uh, the problem the what type of solutions the, the arrays gives you and what type of problems we can solve it using the arrays i am thinking that you can know you know about those all things now let's try to see how we can declare an array in a javascript so in javascript arrays declaration is something like where only we will use where implementation only where so arr so i am taking any variable name arr always remember that in javascript don't give don't start with one or two like this okay number should not be there at the starting of this variable declaration so the variable name should not start with two or something like that underscore we can start it but this one two numbers and some of the special characters these are all the things we should not start it we, otherwise if you want you can start here array one like this you can use it so this is one thing you need to understand it and another one also which i want to tell you is array is equal uh, for example let's say that you are having small x is equal to 4 and you are having capital x is equal to 4 okay 5 3 so small x and capital x both are different okay so don't think that small x and capital x variables are same only now if i try to print console.log of small x and console.log of capital x means so you will get the same output only uh, sorry not same output so the output which you are the variable data which we have stored it we are able to get the same output so here four and three so by this you need to understand that small x is different from the capital x javascript will consider so that means these are <coughs> case sensitive yeah okay so that is the main thing you need to understand it so fine so now we are uh, we are in the array introduction right so just i am telling you about the variables thing also so array one i am giving so array declaration we can use it using the square bracket one comma two comma three comma four okay so this is the variable declaration uh, sorry array declaration we are also having other way other declaration also we will discuss about the advanced javascript and those all things so like this we can also have it in the advanced javascript we'll try to do it so this type of notation supports in all the browsers so that is the main thing also we need to consider it so right now whatever the concepts we are trying to learn supports in all the browsers so we don't want to bother about the browsers and all those things so older browsers newer browsers everything will it support so you can use it very freely these are all the concepts which we are learning right now array one we will be declaring using one comma two comma three comma four comma five so now here this array is having five values one comma two comma three comma four comma five okay let's try to print this one array one 
so when i declare this one array one and also let's try to see the type of this array also so what is the data type of this one so if i try to see here and if i run this one so we are able to get the output but here we are getting a data type of object so now we are able to understand two or three types that is nothing but null is an object so object is a data type okay object is one of the data type object is one of the data type which we have learned these are all the data types object is one data type null belongs to the data type of object and also now we have seen array this also belongs to a data type of object okay so that is one thing so here if i try to see array array is not a data type of array so you can't you, you should not think that array means it's a data type is an array don't think like that it belongs to an object now if you want to access the value 2 means so what you need to do is console.log arr1 of 1 we need to give okay so this is the uh, let's make it as arr only so that we will not get any confuse so i am having an a array 1 2 3 4 5 i want to access 2 means so i am i am using array of 1 so we can use it like this now here 1 means how i how i have taken this one is every time the index starts with the zero so the array index starts with the zero zero one two three four okay like this the array index starts with the zero if i take zero means then i will i can get the output of one so if i try to see the output one is the output let's try to see the type of this array of zero okay array of zero if i try to see array type of array of zero then what could be the output is number so why because it is storing the number value so like this you will be having so if i try to say 2 means then the value what i will be trying to get is 1 0 1 2 so 2 means i may be i will be getting 3 so this is common in any any programming language this array into the array thing and also getting the values from the array this is all common now for example let's say that <clears throat> i want to get something like array of 10 okay I want to get array of 10 the index of 10 which doesn't exist here so it is having 0 1 2 3 4 so we are having up to 4 only array of 4 only but I am trying to get a value which doesn't exist array of 10 so then can anybody tell me what could be the output here nobody is saying so it will be undefined it, it is no 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 you will not get any error javascript will not throw you any error that is the reason i am telling you right undefined i told you at the starting only previous and undefined if you are getting means it is some some kind of error only okay so that means you are trying to access a value which doesn't exist so it will throw you an undefined so here you will get an undefined so undefined means you are trying to access and you are trying to do some arithmetic calculations then you will get a nan here now okay so now undefined you are trying to access with an undefined you are thinking that some value is existing in this one and you are trying to do some arithmetic calculation or some whatever the calculations you want you are trying to do it so this leads to an error now this leads to an error so that is the thing you want to understand you need to understand it so undefined most probably it will be an error only but i am trying to tell you that so this is we can deal with that undefined so this is about the errors concept a nominal introduction of the errors concept let's try to see about the object concept okay so we understood about the arrays arrays belongs to the data type that is an object data type now let's try to see an object what is an object here so object means we can declare an object obj i can give some variable name obj and this one starts opens and close with a curly braces okay so object this one is an uh, in, uh, declaration of this object and here you can have a proper key value name and i can give as leela and i can give some other names also so i can have that company name so i can write it something like this so like this i can write it so whatever the things i want i can write it here so here i am having a variable name so which is an object okay object and this object notation is like this so every object notation will have a key value pair so everyone we everything will have a, every property will have a key value pair so this is nothing but a property name and it's a property value so property name and property value or otherwise key name key and a key value like this also you can say it. now let's try to console the object 
okay console the object if i try to console the object if you try to see here i'm able to get it's an object object and the company and the name we are able to get the output like this now if i want to access only the name of an object means how can i access is console.log obj.name so this is the basic example so if i try to see here i'm able to get the leela so that means i'm able to access the output so if you want you can also access this something like this also but you need to give single quotes inside this one so if i try to give here i have then also i'm able to get the output same like object like an array also you can do it but here what we'll do in the array we are having a numeric index right so we are keeping like this but here we are having the index is nothing but the key name so that is the reason we need to give off something like that if you are having the string index or something like that you can give like this we cannot give dot zero so this dot zero means and everything goes away so you can give like this object dot name so like this we can also use it so let's see that what is the type of this object data type of this object if you try to see here the data type of this one is an object so that means this object is also object only so that is a straightforward so this is an object so these are the other type of data which we can store it in the javascript so now we have learned about the number so that is nothing but a one two three like this storing the values string we have seen text data boolean we have seen the boolean values undefined is a special type of data type which we have in the javascript we have understood about this undefined also object also we have seen the whatever the things comes under the object is null array and object okay so can anybody tell that nan so under under which data type this nan comes number number okay so yesterday only we have discussed it so that's it so these are all about the data types in the javascript data and the data type different types of data types in the javascript so let's go on to the another concept variable hoisting so what is the variable hoisting in the javascript so this is also one of the important concept variable hoisting so you need to learn about this variable hoisting also 